Your registration papers were finalized this morning. You are now an official citizen of Olympus. It's beautiful, isn't it? Considering where I was until yesterday, this all seems like a mirage. Well, as of today, it's reality. Everyone seems so happy. That's because half of the city's population is bioroid. And that would be... Manufactured humans. Clones. Not just ordinary clones. A technological improvement over earlier generational hybrids. Let me get this straight. The whole city is run by just clones? Pardon me, but just clones? You didn't know I was a bioroid too, did you? What? And while our composition may be superior to yours, bioroids in no way attempt to control human beings. Our role is to stabilize an otherwise turbulent human society. Huh, so half of the city is bioroid. Your car seems so strange. That's because this car is equipped with one of the new Damasus prototypes. Meaning what? It's a floating car. Live long enough and you'll see everything, I guess. This place makes me feel like I've been away my entire life. It's all so different. Everything has cyborg senses now, just like this car. The basis of all modern design is human-centered and user-friendly. Conceptual simplicity, structural complexity. Achieves a greater state of humanity, right? If you say so. It's the Central Planning Bureau, their motto for Olympus design. The city maintenance department swears by it. And there's its shining symbol. Tartarus and Daedalus. Inside those two buildings is the IN brain. It runs all of Olympus. An intelligence network. Yes, we nicknamed it Gaia. A self-expanding network that monitors all aspects of daily life here in the city. Mainly, our bioroid interaction. With human beings? Exactly. Man is ruled by unstable emotions. Their inherent aggression often leads to war. But in bioroids, emotional reactions are suppressed. We harbor no anger or jealousy towards other people. And that's how we're able to keep the peace. That said, there is a safeguard measure in place. At the top of Tartarus is the D-Tank. It controls a virus that would wipe out all bioroid existence. I know it's man's need for self-preservation, but that doesn't make it any less insulting. So you're saying humans pose a bigger threat? I mean, it's vital to maintain a balance between us. That's why Gaia also monitors the emotional effects of bioroids on humans. In other words, it makes sure we humans don't get out of line. You're starting to sound like the general. Who? the High Commander of the Olympus Armed Forces. To say he's an extremist is putting it mildly. He hates all bioroids. Sounds like Utopia isn't the General's cup of tea. And the governing body is comprised of the very same bioroids he hates, even the Prime Minister Athena. Athena? A bioroid. Oh, have the two of you met before? I don't see how we could have. Well, for all intents and purposes, she's our Commander in Chief. Although humans are still in charge of the military. Kinda scary, huh? But ESWAT is under her command through the authority of the administration. It's almost an army unto itself. And that's not winning her any friends with the military. Of course, neither one of them has final authority over Olympus.